Hello, Ken Heaston here from Joplin, Missouri. Have you ever had trouble finding the images you want to share on social sites like Facebook and Pinterest and then getting them the right size so they'll show up on the timeline right? Well, stay tuned. I've got a good answer for you. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is find an image that we can share. And so what we're going to do is head on over to Google and we'll type in the URL images.google.com and we come to Google Images. Okay, so if we're going to share on Facebook, obviously we're going to want to share a cat picture. So we type in cat and pictures it'll prompt us right there we'll go look at the cat pictures okay so this brings us to Google all the cat pictures and um, there's a lot of cute cats here but the problem is how many of these are not supposed to be shared online how many of them are copyrighted so let's find out let's go to this little gear right here the settings we'll go to advanced search We'll scroll to the bottom and we will drop down this last box and we will pick free to use, share or modify, even commercially and click advanced search. And now it's going to just show us pictures that we can share. So let's say we like this one. It's a nice big image. Let's just click on it and then we'll go over here to view image and we will hope it loads up oh there we go that's a pretty big image so it's loading pretty slow alright when the image is loaded we will right click save image as and we'll look at the file type it is a JPEG it's a good one we can use we can change the file name here if we want we have it in the cats folder and under my pictures and we will save okay now let's look at how we're going to resize this image and get it ready for social sharing there is a uh, program on your computer already if you have a windows pc called paint this is what the icon looks like i have it down here in my tray but you can find it on your machine somewhere it's called paint let's open up paint Let's go to File, Open, and we're in our Pictures, our Cats folder, and let's take a look at this image we just downloaded. Okay, if you remember, that was a really big image, and so we're just seeing a little part of it in Paint. So let's go to Resize, Pixels. It's 3200 wide. Let's pare that down to 1000, and let's just see what we got. If you notice, it's going to maintain the aspect ratio for us here. It already filled in the vertical. We'll say OK. All right, now we have a cat picture that we can kind of do a little something with here. So if we're going to put it on Facebook, the best size for the big sharing image is 700 by 366, which is about twice as long as it is tall. So let's just start out by cropping out an image that's about twice as wide as it is tall. Let's go to select rectangular selection and let's just crop out one that's about twice as wide as it is tall and we'll hit crop. Alright that's what we got now now let's resize it to 700 by 366. We'll hit pixels and we'll hit 700. And if you know, if you notice, it maintained the aspect ratio, so that's really close, but let's uncheck it and let's just fill this in as 366 and say OK. Now we have a cat picture that is just the right size. So let's go File, Save As, JPEG, and we're back in the Cats folder and let's just call this 
cat underscore FB for Facebook and we'll know that's the one we're going to save on Facebook. Now let's do that again for Pinterest. Let's open um, this big file again and let's resize back down to a thousand and now for Pinterest I like a size that's about 600 wide and 700 tall so let's crop out an area that looks about like that let's go about this wide and about that tall and crop and now we'll resize it in pixels to 600 by 700 okay now we have our kitty in the right size for Pinterest and let's file save as JPEG we're back in the cats folder and we'll call it cat underscore pn for Pinterest and now we have our two files saved okay now let's try out our Facebook image and see how it posts up on Facebook in the status here we'll go photo video upload photos and videos and we named our file cat underscore FB let's double click that and it brought the image up will say my favorite <laughs> if I can type it uh, look we'll, we'll call it kitty my favorite kitty and we'll post okay there's what the post looks like now now let's go over and see how it shares and so here's the post uh, at the way it shares it's in the nice large image size and um, it will remain that way as other people share it now um, these image sizes that I've quoted in this video um, are important and you can find them in the about section of the description here uh, you can find a link to an article that will give you much more detail and also I'll, I'll include all the image sizes in the about section so now let's go over to Pinterest and add a pin here of our cat and we will add it from our computer and we will pick the one cat dash pn double click it and I'm going to call it my kitty and there's the pin so that's how you find and resize an image for social sharing everything you need is right there on your computer it's easy and it's free now this video is just part of a series about finding images that you can use for sharing on social media uh, and I'll take you all the way through this video which is number one through putting on text and uh, more advanced strategies like making your posts share so that you get the image that you want on social media when other people share so all you need to do is just uh, subscribe to the channel hop on over there and look for the playlist about sharing social images and uh, I'll have all the movies there in one playlist enjoy